Welcome back, my friends. I am Denver Gamer, and today I'm going to show you how to use UniBios in Final Burn Alpha using RetroArch. And we're also going to do some cheats, and I'm going to show you how to access the dip switch menu. So let's get started. As you can see right here, I have Metal Slug 1, the ROM, in my downloads folder in RetroArch. That is a quick access menu very easy to access. And I have my Neo Geo zip file. This has all the BIOS files in it. And you see here, I've got all the uni BIOS in there as well. I will show you where to get those in a second. Now, you can also put them in the game folder like this. And that's the way I have it. I have every game folder has all the BIOS in there with it. it takes up a little more memory, but you can play it from anywhere. You don't need that extra zip file. So, I'm going to go ahead and delete my Neo Geo zip file. I don't need it. And then I'm going to show you where we're going to go to get the actual uni BIOS. It's basically a custom BIOS that people have made over the years to modify Neo Geo games. And the, one of the coolest things about it is cheats. So there's a link in the description. This will take you to the universe BIOS page. Looks like that's in France, maybe where they, they uh, maintain that. Lots of information here on the left-hand side, how it works, requirements, screenshots, what it is. And here you can see there's the 4.0, that's the latest version, and the older version, 3.3 uh, for the CD. That's for the Neo Geo CD. So I guess another version, not the older version. I misspoke. So let's get this game started. Let me exit out of there, and I'm going to boot up RetroArch. So I am really counting on you guys to have some experience with RetroArch. Um, you, this uses cores from different emulators and you load your content. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we have the right core loaded. Okay, whoops, let me go back in there. And we wanna use Final Burn Neo. If you don't have it, you can go to Download Core and scroll down to Final Burn Neo right there and download it, but I already have it. We're gonna go to load our content Now remember, that downloads folder in RetroArch, uh, you can see my other drives here, but the downloads folder is like a quick access. We'll select that and we'll select load archive. Now you can tell by this green screen at the beginning, this is the MVS version of the game, the version that was meant to be in the arcades. But let's go ahead and start this up. And we're just going to get in and play this because I'm going to show you how to turn on the blood really quick. That's that's going to be cool. I'm going to show you how to access the dip switch menu. Let's just get... I mean, I love this game. Oh, my God. Uh, kind of cartoony and violent. So cool. And you can see when you shoot people, it looks like water's coming out of them or sweat. It's just kind of lame. Well, if you hold the start button, that'll take you into the dip switch menu. In here, you can see different settings like bookkeeping and hardware test. Um, I'm not going to mess with the hard dip in this video, but the soft dip is what we're going into. And we're going to select slot one, metal slug. You can change the number of lives you have. You can uh, turn off continues, you know, difficulty level. You can turn it up to like eight. It depends how much the arcade operators wanted, you know, your quarters. You can change the time. Not sure what demo sound is. The play manual is like the how-to screen. But there's the blood. Turn the blood on. That's where it's at. And that's going to make the game look so much better. We will uh, push the, the C button to go back. It's actually X on your controller, and it will automatically reboot when you exit. Hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. So now, God, I love these title screens. We're going to go back in, put some more quarters in with the select button, and check this out. There you go. So that is how you access the dip switches, like you're actually opening up the arcade machine and flipping uh, the little switches in there. I know all the boards are all different. Uh, you have to use the manuals, but it's really cool. You can press P to pause and F1 to toggle the menu. Now we're going to go set up the uni BIOS and wait till you see this. So go down to core options. Before we get into that, let me show you here um, diagnostic input. That's where it's hold start to access the dip switches. You can change that, but that should come preset to hold the start button. I use an Xbox 360 controller. But go into Neo Geo settings. 
select Neo Geo mode, and here's all our different BIOS, okay? But the one you wanna select is UniBIOS, and I have version four, and it'll automatically load the latest version. We're gonna go back out, uh, go, whoops, I got out too far. I'm gonna hit uh, restart. And I think I'm, oh, I'm still paused on this. All right, there you go. Universe BIOS 4.0. And I actually missed uh, pressing the button combination. So I can hit H to restart. And I'm gonna press three buttons. It is X, A, and B together on my 360 controller, but that should be A, B, and C on a Neo Geo controller but that's what they're mapped to, my, my Xbox 360 controller. So if that makes sense, I'm going to select that button combination and I'll get into the initial Universe BIOS menu. So to be completely candid with you guys, I don't know what everything does here, but let's go into region setup. I'm going to hit um, B for USA and B again for AES, which is the home console. I believe the cheats work on the home console uh, BIOS, okay? Then uh, there's some other stuff here in the general UniBio settings. I really don't mess with any of this stuff. Uh, I'm just kind of showing it to you. Um, the music player looks interesting. If you can sit back and just play the music, that's very interesting to me. I still don't know how to use it yet. And I just, yeah, I don't know what that is. I think you're exporting some some code or something there. I really don't know. So I'm definitely not an encyclopedia on this, but I got this working and I thought I should share it with you guys. So wait till you see, and you'll notice I already have credits. I don't have to insert coins, but wait till you see the cheats. This is really cool. All right, so let's start this off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit start and select at the same time on our 360 controller. You might have a different controller, but it should be start and select by default. And you can go into the cheats, there's two other menus, but then you have stuff like infinite time, uh, auto fire, invincibility, infinite ammo, infinite bombs is like way OP. I mean, it's so crazy. And I will just show you real quick. Now this debug dip sw uh, settings here, I don't know what that does or the uh, patch, uh, whatever that was. I'm kind of going a little fast. I'm just trying to show you how to get the cheats working in this. And maybe I'll play with that stuff and do it another time, but just look, <laughs> you can just go, go through this game now and just destroy everything. Not, I mean, there are some cooler cheats for, for different games. I use Metal Slug as an example. Um, you can just, you know, in the in the MVS version, you can just keep selecting coins and dying over and over again. At, you know, if you really suck, or you can just get good. But this is uh, it's really interesting to me that you can just go in and blow everything up. I am gonna cut forward to this scene where I was fighting a boss, and look how fast I de I de beat this guy. It is just insanity. Uh, so cool. So there's tons and tons of different cheats. Some of them even just change the gameplay. You know. Um, make it kind of a, a different angle in the game. So definitely check it out and, uh, and play around with it. And I do have a podcast I recently did with Mars on 20 Neo Geo games that you should check out. So I will link that uh, at the end here and also put an info card up there. And hey guys, leave me a like, leave a comment. What do you want to see? What did you find out doing this? Uh, let me know. This is such a, such a couple cool uh, things you can do with Neo Geo games in Retro Arch. And so uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists, as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.